in this video we will start to explain the tool, the hardware tool that we will use all along the course, the RTL SDR radio. This device belongs to the second SDR generation. So we have an intermediate frequency in the analog domain and we do the conversion to baseband in the digital domain. All the baseband processing will be done in your PC. This is in the MATLAB tool. This RTL SDR uh, hardware uses the Realtek RTL 2832U device. It was originally designed to receive television signals, terrestrial television signals. Therefore, it only receives. So you won't be able to use this device to transmit any signal. In this course, we will only work with signals broadcasted by third parties. But the good news here is that there are many signals available to receive. So this won't be a problem for us. The history of this device comes from some hackers that realized that this television receiver was not only a television receiver, it could be also a generic receiver. The key idea to do this is to switch from the TV mode to a test mode, to a generic mode where the receiver was able to work on a wider range of frequencies. It's very famous, the phrase of one of the hackers, I mean hacker on an ethical way, that said, I smell a very cheap, poor man's software-defined radio here. But this is not an open hardware device. So data sheet, the data sheet, of this device, it's an estimation. Good news is that it's a very low cost device intended for the masses, the masses who wanted to watch TV on their laptops. The interface with the, with the PC is USB. And something curious for me is that today there are more sales of this device as an SDR device than as a TV device. Here you have four different uh, presentations or packaging of this of the same of the same hardware. As I said before, the test mode is the generic mode which will allow us to receive signals on many different frequencies. This test mode it's a it's 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 actually a bypass of the television mode, the DVB mode. This, re this receiver, this radio, has 8-bit resolution in baseband, in both phase and quadrature. The sampling frequency is up to 2.8 megahertz. You can also work on 3.2 megahertz, but you may have some losses. The range of frequencies for the, for the transmitted signals goes from 25 MHz to 1.7 GHz. I, I write here that it's an approximation because it depends, depends on the device and depends on the temperature. There are three main parameters that you can configure. The sampling frequency, the FS parameter, the center frequency, the RF frequency, the central frequency of the band, and also the gain. This hardware has two fundamental components. The RF front end, which typically has the Raphael Micro R820T, and also the demodulator, an analog, analog to digital converter, the Realtek. 
This is a depiction of the spectrum. Inside this box, you have the spectrum that the RTL SDR is able to receive. Here, for example, you have the GPS signals. Here, you have the GSM mobile communication systems, the public mobile signals. Here, you also have another band dedicated to mobile communications. This band, very wide band, is for TV broadcast. These two are for radio broadcast and there are many more. For example, here you have the ADSB system which the planes use to transmit, to broadcast their position and their IDs. So, there are a lot of services available within this frequency range. This means a lot of possibilities for us. Some practical values about the RTL. The 80% of the baseband bandwidth is useful because of the limitations of the real filters. The transition from band pass to stop band, which is not a hard transition, but a smooth transition. So we have some losses there. There is also a strong dependence between the temperature and the maximum uh, frequency. The device is adapted to 75 ohms, but the disadaptation that has at 50 ohms is very low. The noise figure in the antenna port is 3.5 dBs. The quantization uh, signal to noise ratio is 43 dBs, which is low, but it can be improved by software. The resolution of the tuner is 1 Hz. So, to sum up, the highlights of the RTL is that it's a very low cost software receiver. The baseband processing can be done in a PC with a suitable software like MATLAB or Simulink and so more in many different operating systems. The real time operation is possible with some limitations but possible. This device has a wide range of frequencies from 25 MHz to 1.7 GHz. The baseband data in baseband you will have 8 bits in phase and quadrature with a sampling frequency up to 2.8 MHz. You will have three parameters that you can change the center frequency, the sampling frequency and the gain. So, it's a very powerful tool and very easy to use. And you have a lot of help in the internet. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.